Hi, I'm Corey from East Coast DIY, and I'm going to show you how to make a floating bed. This is a very easy DIY friendly project. And for this, I am using a full size bed. All of the tools and materials used in this project I have pictured at the very end of the video. I started out by making the top frame, and this is where the bed is actually going to sit on. And the finished frame is the same size as the mattress. This full bed is 75 by 53. And then I made a second frame. This is where the top frame is going to sit on to give the illusion that it's floating. I assembled both frames using three inch wood screws. And once the frame was in the exact spot I wanted it, it was time to secure it to the wall. I used my Ryobi stud finder to find the studs in that wall. And then I used three inch screws to attach it. I made sure that I had at least two screws into each stud for the top frame as well as the bottom frame. And not pictured in the video, but everywhere that the top frame and the bottom frame met, I did attach those together using another three inch screw. And when I was working on the refrigerator, I also added electrical here. I'm just now adding the box. This way I can add my LED lights. And unfortunately, when I first cut in, I cut in right to a stud, so I had to actually move the box over a little bit. So I'll have to make some dry roll repair there too. And this part is optional if you want a headboard. For my headboard, I actually had an old IKEA closet door that I wasn't using, it was sitting in the garage. So I decided to just cut it to size and make it the headboard. I left a little bit of space between the top frame and the wall, knowing that I was going to do this in order for me to slide it into place. And once I made sure that the headboard was level, I attached the top frame to the headboard using three inch screws. I bought LED lights from Amazon and then plugged them in and secured them to the back of the headboard and all around the bed frame. And for the mattress to sit on, I'm making slats out of one by four. I just cut them down to the same length of the mattress, which is 75 inches. I spaced them out and then used one and a half inch screws to put on every location that it met the two by six. And to prevent the wood from splitting, I'm first pre-drilling using my Ryobi drill. After all of the slats are attached, I'm then cutting down my one by eight premium pine boards to attach to the exterior of the frame. This will allow that exposed one by fours to be covered and then also create a nice surface for staining. I used my miter saw to create the cut on the corner and then I also used my brad nailer to attach the premium pine to the frame. I filled all of the nail holes and any imperfections with wood filler and gave it a nice sand. And I like to add a conditioner to the wood before I stain, so I'm using this Verathane pre-stain wood conditioner and also my melamine sponge to apply it. I have found that using a melamine sponge to apply any stain has been a complete game changer. It leaves a nice smooth finish and it really eliminates any drips. And this part is optional as well, but I wanted to create a small end table. So I made it the same way that I make my floating shelves. And you can find that on my DIY tutorial floating shelf. After about 20 minutes, it was time to apply the stain. And for this, I'm using Verathane in Golden Oak. After the stain dried, I added some bedding and here's what it looks like now. And you would be surprised how sturdy this is. Just make sure to attach the top frame as well as the bottom frame to the studs in the wall, as well as attach the top frame to the bottom frame at every location that the two by sixes meet. Here's a list of all of the materials that I used along with the cuts. Remember, this is for a full size bed. So if your bed size is different, you might need to tweak it. And then here's pictures of all of the lumber that I purchased from Home Depot along with the stain. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and to follow me on TikTok and Instagram.